Hello everyone, how are you? We have question uh, 26. The question says, study the opposite uh, circuit, of course, and calculate currents I1, I2, I3. As you can see here in the graph, I have uh, two loops. I have loop uh, one, or the right loop, and loop uh, two, which is the left. He's asking me about I1, I2, I3. Let's see, I have I1 here. I2 is here and I3 is here. Okay, I have three batteries E1 of 10 volt, E2 of 20 volt, and E3 of 30 volt. I need to uh, find the three currents. Okay, in order to do that, we, uh, I need to write three equations with three variables, which are I1, I2, I3. Okay, so we start with the Kirchhoff's. First law, okay, on this junction right here, on this junction, we know that the sum of currents entering the junction equal the sum of currents leaving. So, which currents are entering? I have I1 is entering the junction, right? So, I1 equal. Which ones are leaving? Notice here, I will erase, okay. I2 is leaving, I3 is leaving also. So, it's going to be I2 plus I3. This is the first equation we are going to work with, okay? So, Kirchhoff's uh, first law on the upper junction, okay? Now, we apply Kirchhoff's second law on the left loop and right loop, okay? Let me just put a line here, and then I'll use this one, okay? The uh, second law of Kirchhoff, we know it from before, it is E1 plus E2 minus I1 R1 minus I2 R2, etc., etc., I3 R3, etc., etc. As we discussed before, the signs uh, can change, either positive or negative, depending, uh, and the names also can change, okay? So now, and I will start with the left loop. Left loop, okay? In the left loop, I will go clockwise. I will draw here, so it is clockwise. Okay, how many batteries I have? I have two batteries. I have the 10 and the 20. These are the electromotive forces that I have here. Notice if I move clockwise, my direction will go out of the negative of the uh, 10 volts. So it's going to be minus 10. Regarding the second battery here, if I go clockwise, my direction will go out of the positive. So it's going to be plus 20, plus 20 uh, volt. Okay? Uh, what else? These are the electromotive forces that I have, right? Now I go with the IR, IR. Uh, pay attention, I have uh, I1, it goes into uh, R1 and R4, okay? All of this here is I1. All of this here is I1. And notice that I1, the direction of I1, agrees with the direction of motion. It is clockwise, so I will keep negative. It's going to be minus uh, R1 I1 minus 10 I1, okay? Minus R4 I1, so again, minus 10 I1. Now, the current I2 in here, it goes into R2, right? Uh, I2 agrees with the uh, direction of motion, which is clockwise, okay? So it's going to be uh, minus R2 I2, which is going to be minus 10 I2 equals to zero. Let's fix this equation. Uh, minus 10 plus 20, it is 10, okay? Minus 10 I1 minus 10 I1, it is minus 20 I1. And here I have minus 10 I2 equals to zero. This is the second equation I'm going to work with. Okay? Okay. Now, uh, I go to the right loop, to the right loop, and I do the same thing. I will write here, right loop, 
right loop. I will go, in this case, I will go counterclockwise or anticlockwise. Okay? Counter clockwise. Okay, I'll change the color. Okay, good. So I will go counterclockwise. I will apply the same formula that I did here. Okay, I will apply it on the right loop. Again, regarding the batteries, I have this and this. Okay, for the 30 volt, my direction goes out of the positive, so it's going to be 30. I will write it here down. For the uh, 20, also, the direction will go out of the positive, so also plus 20. Okay. Uh, what currents do I have? I have I3 in here that goes into R3 and R5. And pay attention that uh, I3 doesn't agree with my direction. This is I3. Okay, it doesn't agree with my direction, so it's going to be positive. So it's going to be plus R3 I3, which is 10 I3. Okay, plus uh, R5 I3, which is also plus 10 I3. Okay, now I have I2, the I2 here. It goes into the R2 and it agrees with my direction, as you can see. So it's going to be minus 10 I2 equals to zero. Now I'm going to fix this equation to get the third one. So 30 plus 20, it is 50. 10 I3 plus 10 I3, it is 20 I3. Okay, and minus 10 I2. Okay, so this is the third equation I'm going to work with. Okay, so now I got three equations with three variables. Okay, the I1, I2, I3, I can solve them simultaneously uh, in, like in math, and uh, I can get the value of each one of them, okay? I don't know if I have a space here, yes, I do. Okay, uh, we'll go right here, let me split, okay? So, I can uh, start from equation uh, two. From equation two, please follow me. You have equation two with you. From equation two, I need I1. Okay, I'll take I1. So I will uh, write here 20 I1 equals, uh, I put I1 alone in one side, okay, and the others in the other side. It equals 10 minus 10 I2. Okay, it's going to be 10 minus 10 I2. Then I need I1 alone, I divide by 20. It's going to be I1 equals 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 I2. This is the new equation. Okay, so the second equation became like this. I can name it 4. Now, from equation 3. From equation 3, I need to find I3. Okay, I need to find I3. So I write 20 I3 and the others uh, in the, in the uh, second side. It's going to be minus 50 because I changed the side, okay? Uh, plus 10 I2, okay? If I want I3, I divide by 20, right? So I3 equals minus 50 over 20 is going to be 2.5 uh, plus 0.5 I2. This is the new shape of equation 3. I'll name it 5. Okay, now after I uh, wrote the equation 4 and 5, I substitute them in equation 1. Okay, so I will write uh, substitute substitute in one instead of uh, uh, i one i put these here i substitute here and instead of i three i substitute the thing here okay so i will get uh i will have 0 0.5 instead of of i one i will get in the first side 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 i two okay 
which equals in the second side I have I2 plus I3 so I2 I have it here I3 I substitute the things here okay so it's going to be minus 2.5 okay plus 0.5 I2 okay now I need to fix this uh, equation put the variables in one side and numbers in one side uh, this I take it to the other side and this I bring it to the first side so it's going to be uh, 0 0.5 plus 2.5 equals I2 plus 0 0.5 I2 plus 0 0.5 I2 okay now I will have uh, in the first side 3 equals 2 I2 which means that I2 equals 1.5 ampere as you can see I2 I got it positive right so no need to change its direction okay no need to change its direction now I'm going to find I1 and I3. In order to find I1, I use the equation 4. Okay? I substitute instead of I2, I put uh, 1.5. So it's going to be I1 equals 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 multiple 1.5. Okay? Uh, I use my calculator I will have a uh, negative I1 equal I1 equals negative 0 0.25 okay uh, since I1 I got it negative it means I should uh, change its direction let me go back to the circuit here I1 it was going up as you can see but no I need to uh, 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 inverse or re reverse uh, its direction so it will not be going there it will be in this direction okay this will be the I1 and I have to mention that you have to say uh, I1 leaves the upper junction since before it was entering okay now after we changed it it's going to be leaving upper junction junction okay and I write the, the positive value remember 0 0.25 after I wrote that I changed its direction I write the positive value okay now I want uh, I3 in order to find I3 I will use equation 5 okay uh, to find I3 I just substitute I2 uh, with uh, 1.5 so I will do it down here under the equation 5 I will write I3 equals minus 2.5 plus 0 0.5 multiple 1.5 and the answer will be is going to be uh, minus 1.75 minus 1.75 okay so this means I need to change the direction of I3 I go back again to the circuit let's see the I3 I3 it was leaving as you can see it was leaving the upper junction but now no I have to do it like this it is entering okay so it's coming here so I write uh, uh, I3 is entering upper junction okay where do I write oh, okay sorry I write I3 enters upper junction since before it was leaving now it is entering and I write the uh, value I3 equals 1.75 ampere okay I hope it's uh, clear 
Okay, as you can see, uh, uh, this uh, question like contains a lot of math. Okay, uh, I hope it's understood. If you have any question, please leave it in the comments below. Have a nice day. Bye bye.